click here to see more information on the return that you will be sending to HMRC. The VAT return that you send to HMRC is made up of nine boxes and each of these is calculated for you automatically based on the information you add to your transactions, your profile details and the scheme that you are on. Let's click through each of these to see what information feeds into these boxes. Box 1 is your output VAT. This includes the VAT due on all goods and services that you supplied in this period. This also includes reverse charge VAT. For more information on reverse charge VAT, visit the HMRC website. Box 2 is VAT due on acquisitions from the EU. This will only affect you if you have tipped goods purchased from the EU on a transaction. Box 3 is the total VAT due. This is boxes 1 and 2 added together. Box 4 is the VAT reclaimed on expense transactions. It also includes other inputs from income transactions where you have added more complex VAT information, such as goods to or from the EU, or taxable services from outside the UK. Box 5 is the net VAT to be paid to HMRC or reclaimed by you from HMRC and is the difference between boxes 3 and 4. Box 6 is the net value of sales, which means the total value of sales and all other outputs, excluding any VAT. Box 7 is the total value of purchases and all other inputs. It shows the total value of your purchases and expenses, but doesn't include any VAT. Box 8 is the total value of all supplies of goods and related costs to the EU, excluding any VAT. Box 9 is a total value of acquisitions of goods and related costs from the EU, excluding any VAT. Let's do an example and add VAT to an incoming payment to see how this affects the VAT return boxes. This transaction was previously excluded from the VAT return. If we now record that we charge 20% VAT on this income, Back in the VAT return, we are now able to see that this has fed through to box 1, VAT due on sales and other outputs. The VAT on this transaction will also feed through into box 3 and 5, and the net amount will feed into box 6. Now let's do an example of VAT on an expense to see how this affects the VAT return boxes. Let's say we had been charged 20% on this expense. The VAT on this transaction will feed through into box 4 and will also impact box 5. The net of this transaction will feed through to box 7. See our other videos to learn about creating a tax estimate, setting a tax goal and syncing with HMRC to submit and pay your VAT return through Making Tax Digital.